let's talk about uh, the chemical effect of current you are able to see a circuit uh, which got a cathode and an anode and once uh, if we got a metal or electrode which is injected automatically the ion started navigating so this is considered as chemical effect of current because there is a deflection you are able to see here this is how the structure is and the passage of current you are able to see the cathode and an anode and we are able to see the ammeter which is connected to a battery and there is a rheostat for variable resistance and now we are going to see about the Faraday's law too in this chapter this is the index first we are going to talk about the chemical effect of current followed by Faraday's law of electrolysis the first law and second law and the verification of Faraday's law of electrolysis is the first law and second law so you are able to see there is a conduction happening in the liquid between the electrodes if it is placed in an electrolyte this is referred to as electrolysis technique an electric current through a liquid causes chemical changes and this process is called electrolysis the conduction is possible only in liquids wherein charged ion can be dissociated in opposite directions. Such liquids are called electrolytes. The place through which current enters and leaves an electrolyte that's referred to as electrode. This is the one one shoe. The electrode toward which a positive ions travel. You can see the positive ions travel. This is considered as cathode and you are able to see the negative ions travels towards an electro electrode that's your anode. The positive ions they are called as cations and the negative ions they are called as anions. 